We are right in the middle of Black History Month. It's a time to salute the triumphs and achievements of African Americans throughout history. They would spit on me, call me all kinds of names. I was so afraid but I tried my best not to let them know. Black History Month has grown beyond the United States. With that in mind, let's explore why February was chosen for the yearly celebration. It was Harvard-educated historian Carter G. Woodson who started a group now known as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. Woodson formed the group 50 years after the United States abolished slavery. In 1926, the group chose the second week in February as a time to celebrate the contributions of African Americans. The week was picked to coincide with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, two men who played a prominent role in the elimination of slavery. Mayors across the country issued yearly proclamations, but for many around the country, a week wasn't enough. In the 1960s, college campuses extended the celebration to a month. In 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized February as Black History Month. This year, much of the focus is on the 150th anniversary of the passing of the 15th Amendment to the Constitution, which gave African-American men the right to vote. 